Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome back to our channel once again. And it is my hope and prayer that the video is going to find you guys in good health. Personally, I am fine as you can see. Kisumu is fantastic. And maybe you could also let me know where you are watching the video from. The county or the country. In case you are out of the republic. Ladies and gentlemen, there is one question which majority of Kenyans are currently asking. Whether William Samuel Araputo, the president of the Republic of Kenya, can actually win the re-election in 2027 minus the support of the mountain. Because clearly the mountain has drifted away from the grip of William Ruto. Can he win the presidency minus Mount Kenya? Because in 2022, William Ruto's game plan was very simple. He banked 100% on the mountain. Yesterday, Moses Korea attended some event, Mugidi event. And Moses Korea was actually heckled out of a podium because he's being perceived to be an ally of the president. Before that, Susan Kihika and Oscar Sudi were also humiliated in Nakuru when Susan Kihika was also heckled out of a podium for trying to read a speech by the president. <laughs> Condolence message from His Excellency William Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya. I have from His Excellency William Ruto, President of the Republic and Commander in Chief. I to celebrate my Paul Esana, William Samoy Ruto. Thank you. Reure, oi oh, tusifanye makerere kwa sababu tuko kwa mazishi. Mm. Eh washeni tusifanye makerere karibuni. So the ground has turned so hostile for William Ruto and his allies in the mountain to an extent that the president, President William Samoei Ruto, had to cancel a church service or a church event he was intended to attend in Embu. According to sources, that event was supposed to take place in um, in the month of uh, July. But because of the Gen Z protest, it was postponed. And William Ruto picked another date, which was supposed to be today. And remember the aftermath of Rigadi Gashagwa's impeachment. William Ruto had actually intended to go to Embu, which is Mount Kenya East, because remember he had tried to split the mountain into two, east or west. And currently William Ruto is trying to sell the candidature of... Uh, Professor Kituri Kindiki as the proposed deputy president. So he had intended after the impeachment of Rigedi Gashagwa to go to Mount Kenya East to actually sell that ticket. The ground turned so hostile that William Ruto had to cancel that event. And immediately he cancelled the event, Rigedi Gashagwa decided to go to Embu and took over that event. William Ruto had to actually explain to Kenyans why he skipped that event. Where we were. So when um, 
the senior pastor told me that there had been sent an invitation for this celebration. I told him I'm going to struggle because it wasn't in my diary. My diary was committed somewhere else. I've had to negotiate with people in other places because I didn't want to miss this celebration. Because there is truly something to celebrate about Melimani. Because I have personal experience of the humble beginnings of this church and looking at it today the way it is, it's awesome. It's a true blessing and I wanted to be part of this great moment celebrating 30 years of God's faithfulness in Milimani Church. Yale yote ambayo inaendelea Kenya msijali. Si ndio? Si iko Mungu mbinguni. Sisi ni wa Kristo na tunamwamini Mwenyezi Mungu. Na Mungu atafanya mapenzi yake. Binadamu wanaweza panga mambo mingi lakini iko Mungu mbinguni. Muendelee kutuombea. Muendelee kuombea nchi yetu. Sisi tulichaguliwa na watu wengi hawa ya embu. Si ndio? Sijui kama tawezekana tulichaguliwa na hii watu yote tufukuzwe na watu wachache. Hiyo ni hiyo ni haki kweli watu ya embu. Na ndio mimi namshukuru huyu mjumbe wenu ungetonga mkunji alipiga kura. Alipiga kura alisikiza watu wa embu vile wanase? Hata huyu Dabwen alikuwa ameandika barua akakuja embu akasikiza waetu akapinduka. Akafuata vile wananchi wanafanya nini? Kwa sababu sisi zote ni watu ya kuchaguliwa. Na ni vizuri usikize ile watu ambayo wamefanya nini? Kwa hivyo watu wa embu mlichagua mimi na President William Ruto mkatupatia kura zenu zote. So in this video I want to reveal to you guys the dark secrets behind William Ruto's move to cancel the event in Embu. But before you do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click the subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. Because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, allow me to dive in. But again, before I dive in, allow me to also take this opportunity to thank the following people you are seeing their names on the screen there for the coffee they sent to me earlier today. It goes a long way in supporting this channel. You can also do the same using the numbers you are seeing on your screen. Yesterday was my wife's birthday and for those who send gifts, I received them and delivered to her and uh, she's very appreciative of the kind gesture from you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, let us now dive in. And I want to go straight to the point. Why do you think William Ruto was forced to cancel that event? Because nobody asked the president to explain. He decided to explain it himself. And of course, even in the church, in uh, Melimani church where he attended a service, he was there the previous, was it the previous week or the previous week, but one. And when he was there previously, people boycotted this, the service. Today he was there. You can also clearly tell that People were courted, but children were placed strategically in those seats. But why would the president decide to cancel an event in, in Embu? Because in my view, if William Ruto wanted to attend both events, he would have attended. William Ruto is one of the people in this country with a record of attending even five events in different locations. William Ruto can attend an event in Kisi, another one in Embu, and another one in Busia in a single day. If William Ruto wanted to go to Milimani, then go to Embu, he would have done that. So that the truth is William Ruto could not go to those events. Number one, the NIS advised him against going there. Not only the president. In fact, William Ruto's allies from the mountain have been advised not to appear in any public function in the mountain. And that's why I was surprised to see Moses Korea attending that movie, the event yesterday. I was actually surprised. Because 
The advice is they should not attend. The ground is hostile for them. So they advised Ruto not to attend that event. Because the ground is hostile, they didn't want the president to be heckled. You know, it would be a very bad picture for a president who received over 80% of the votes from a region being heckled two years into office in the same same region. It was going to send a very bad signal. And of course, they didn't want the president to also face angry voters. You know, you, you are facing people who voted for you. And you are telling them a different story. So they didn't want that because also, just like I was trying to explain, it was going to send bad signal. So the solution is simple. Please do not attend. That's the instruction from the National Intelligence Service. So that's number, number two. William Ruto also knew through the NIS that Rigeti Gashagwa had planned to attend the same event. He had planned to attend it. And the question is, how was the ground going to react? You have a president here who is now very unpopular and his DP who is now very popular. So a popularity contest was going to emerge. And that is something which I doubt if William Ruto would have wanted to happen. The Gendi Gashaka was going to wash his mouth with him. <laughs> so he decided no. Because there's no way William Ruto can stop Rigadi from attending his function. Rigadi is still the deputy president by law. <laughs> Number three. And this is something which one of my friends on this platform told me. That all pro William Ruto's MPs in the mountain are hiding. They cannot go to the ground. Because they're being hunted like antelopes by the people who voted for them. The people who voted for them feel that they betrayed them. So they're being hunted down. So William Ruto was going to go to Empo. And the only people who are going to accompany him were those who voted no to the impeachment. But those who voted yes, none of them was going to appear. So the members of parliament, the governors, the senators from the mountain, especially those who voted to impeach the Gadi, are hiding. And that is what forced Ruto to now cancel that event. Number four is the betrayal tag. There are so many things which William Ruto said during the last election. There are promises he made. One of them was that he would never frustrate his deputy. Now, he's not only frustrating him, he's removing him from office. So the mountain are going to view him as a betrayer. So William Ruto is planning to deal with these issues later, not now. And lastly, I think William Ruto is also trying just to manage the Rigeti Gashagwa impeachment. How is the ground? How is the ground reacting? Can I go to the ground? I cannot go. If I don't go, what will be Rigeti's next move? So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> let us wait and see how all these things are going to unfold. But if you are to ask me, I think unless William Ruto will win the support of ODM stronghold through Raila, he will have a difficult task. Because even Raila Odinga is making several political mistakes. One of them is the comment on Adani. Who told Raila Odinga to comment on Adani? Even if he's working with Adani, even if Adani has promised him what? I, do, I don't understand why Raila Odinga decided to defend Adani in an ODM event. I doubt if that was one of the agendas. If it was on one of the agendas, then ODM is going to have it very rough moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what you think, but that's my tech. Until next time, this is Lee McQueen. Bye-bye.